Plans to close a bank in Marco, leaving a community frustrated and disappointed. Yeah, that's because it is the only bank in town. As Tony Benton Jr. explains now, customers aren't happy about it. Just very disappointing for this small town community that's very community oriented. In December of 2020, the Department of Financial Institutions received notice that the First Merchants Bank will be closing their Marco branch, a move that would impact the entire town of Marco, Indiana, mostly because this bank is the town's only bank. First Merchants Bank Marco Branch has been serving the financial needs of the community since 1947. If two words could describe some of the town members' feelings on this move, it would be frustrating and disappointment. It's very disappointing that we won't have a bank in this town. This is Nadine Brown, and she owns Nadine's Cakes, Cookies, and Catering. But nothing is sweet about the changes that she's had and is still expecting to make. And it's right across from my business, and not to say that everybody comes into town to come to there, to come to my business, but it's just... Our town's going to be dead with no um, local bank. Brown told me that she and others visit the bank all the time for in-person interaction and help. She says that it's very important for the elderly community to have access to the brick-and-mortar bank because not everyone is up to date on all of the changes, updates, and transfers when it comes to technology. And to this community, that's important. As a community and, and like to do what we do face-to-face, -face. and obviously technology advances and uh, Times are changing in a lot of different ways. Um, but yeah, this is a community that prides itself on knowing its neighbors uh, and on uh, spending time with each other face to face. We stopped by the Markle Chamber of Conference meeting today to speak to the town council president. He tells us the frustration comes from wondering who or how will the bank be replaced. For the next five years, the property deed doesn't allow a financial institution to be at that location. The frustration comes obviously with the inability for that financial institution to be replaced by another entity due to current deed restrictions on the sale of the property. But certainly everybody's going to have to make some adjustments to how they're handling their finances um, and are going to have to unfortunately leave the town in order to do that. Now, McClary recommends residents visit neighboring communities like Bluffton and Huntington, even Ossian, to continue their banking. He says he expects First Merchant Bank to place an ATM inside the town limits, but details on that are still in the works. The 